On April 17, 2024, in Ohio, a pregnant girl and her boyfriend were involved in a verbal altercation with three other individuals. The confrontation escalated and nearly resulted in a serious incident. Police were dispatched to the scene to intervene and prevent further escalation. <laughs> She was carrying that bag, so she threw the bag and all down in there. One in the pipe. Upon arriving at the scene, the officers noticed a woman and her boyfriend running away. The officer quickly approached them and took immediate action to arrest them both. Keep your hands up. There you go. Uh, what did you just throw away? Careful. Step over there. People just came up to me, yelling at me. Mm -hmm. People just came up to me. Yeah, man. After arresting the couple, the officers observed a trash container nearby. The officer noticed that the couple had thrown something into the trash container. This observation prompted the officer to inspect the container further to determine what the couple might have discarded, potentially uncovering crucial evidence related to the incident. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Come over here, man. After searching the female, they placed her into the patrol car. The officer then began the investigation by questioning the boyfriend, aiming to gather information about their involvement in the incident and what they might have discarded into the container. Hey, search her. Put her, put her right in front of your car and we're going to search her real f***ing good. Step back away from the car so the camera can pick you up and you're going to search the shit out of her. You got a camera? They threw it in a dumpster. Take your phone away from her. We got these two in custody and we have to go for it. The boyfriend was not providing much information related to the incident, so the officer approached the trash container. One of the officers hopped and jumped into the container to retrieve the item that the couple had thrown inside. We're probably going to have to get a hold of somebody at the Y to unlock that. I mean, we could bend it out of there. Oh, you just got to bend it. Bend it backwards. You get a picture. What's my difference? They just look just the gun. When the officers entered the container, they made a shocking discovery, a gun along with some food. 
This finding was highly alarming as it suggested the couple might have been involved in a serious crime and were possibly prepared for an extended period of hiding or confrontation. The presence of the gun indicated potential danger and the need for further investigation into their intentions and actions. They kept walking. She was carrying that bag, so she threw the bag and all down in there. One in the pipe. She was carrying this. Is there anything in there? Just food? officer emerged from the container and confronted the boyfriend about the gun. The boyfriend denied any knowledge of the weapon. <sighs> I don't kill myself. Did you see that guy? Shit. I don't know if I can get my leg up that high. <laughs> you could call the trash truck and have him dump it in there. <laughs> <laughs> Pull my leg up. You just got me? Yeah. <laughs> People over here videotaping and shit. <laughs> Started coming after us, we just got out of the baby boom and started eating. I'll we'll take this cuff off of you. Alright. Do not reach for your knife, do not grab anything, you don't try to pull it. I'm not, I'm not. Understand? Yeah. 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 the officer that his girlfriend was pregnant and that they were on their way to a doctor's appointment. Upon learning this, the officer released her handcuffs and placed her back into the police vehicle, ensuring she remained secure while they continued their investigation, balancing compassion with the need for security. Tell me what's going on, man. So we were just walking from the car. We had to see her after baby appointment because she's pregnant with an ultrasound. Okay. And um, she's pregnant. And then... So they were, they just got out of the car and started yelling. They thought I said, hey, they thought I said something on Facebook. And, uh, but I, then they just, they tried to fight and they were trying to fight. Okay, hey Reed, I want to cuff her in the front. She's pregnant. Hey man, you want to step out here for me? Are you pregnant? Yes. Should have told me that before. I'm sorry. I'm going to take you to the right here. Okay.
So what happened to the gun? I don't know what you said. I don't know. Okay. Alright, I'm just going to be detained, alright? I'm just going to see. You have the right to remain silent when you see safe. You can't be kicked out from the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Do you understand your rights? I understand. Can I ask a question? Yes. If he gets arrested in my, like... I don't care if you hold my hand back, can I, like, yeah, um, 79, go ahead. What is it when you're talking? If, um, he gets arrested or I get arrested or anything, um, can, like, I give him the test before, like, yeah, we'll set that up, alright? Do you want to talk to me at all, or staying quiet? Okay. They said we're gonna get. They're like we're gonna get a gun and switch you up. And like, I don't know. But, yeah, that was my. I was gonna pass the tickets. I was gonna pass it. All right, man. Give me your first name. Cadence. Last name. The officer went back to the girl and asked about the gun again, but she didn't say anything and stayed calm. Her quietness made the situation even more mysterious, giving the officers little to go on and making them investigate more. Do you really want to go down for this? You're 22 weeks pregnant. Do you really want to go down for this? Or you want to tell the truth? Because, I mean, they don't carry the way, but, you know, I... I want you to tell the truth. Can you what? No, you can't talk to him. But, like, what, what's going on right now if you don't talk to us and tell us the truth? You both are going to be worked for this. You understand it's a felony or two, right? Do you have a felony? Do you want a felony? So why don't you just tell the truth? Are you trying to protect him? You just want to talk to him? Well, I can't let that happen. Because you haven't been cooperative with me. I, I need some cooperation. I've not been. I've not been. No, you haven't, but you're, you're not telling me anything. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm trying to help you out. You know what I mean? I want to help you out. But I, you're tying my hands behind my back by not talking. And I'm not forcing you to talk, you know what I mean? That's your right. You don't have to talk to me. But do you really want this charge then? Okay. Last chance. Even though the officer kept trying, nobody admitted to owning the gun. When they asked people in the group, nobody said it was theirs, making the investigation even harder. Their denials made things more confusing, so the officer had to look into other leads to find out where the gun came from. Hey, bring him over here. Stand right here. Just because y'all wear that badge don't mean you can just boss me around for no reason. 13 meters. I don't know. What's your first name? Isaiah. Huh? Isaiah. Yeah. Supposed to be over here. 
Five. Young boys got worn out. Two eight zero zero eight. Huh? Two That's what I asked McGowan. He said no. It says pick up. It says pick up one. Right. They all are. I know. That's what I told him. See, see this? Yeah, because when there's a gun involved, the original call was five people arguing, one with a gun. They didn't say who had it. So when you're jumping out of a car after Do what? There you go. Putting them on the back like I told you. It don't matter, man. You jump out of a car like that, yeah. we don't know who's got a gun. Right. You're going to end up getting shot. <laughs> You got to get to Jackson to take care of your warrant sometime, dude. It's just going to follow you around forever. You had a 9 caliber? You had a no Oh, he did have a Once the officer confirmed that the other people in the car weren't involved, they went back to the couple. Since the girl still wouldn't say who the gun belonged to, the officer decided to take her to the police station for more questioning. They might charge her with obstructing the investigation. All right, you guys are good to go. What's he being charged with? They're both being, you're both being charged with felony receipt of stolen property. Because the gun is stolen. And I mean, there could be the argument of convicted felon. You're being convicted of a felony. You're being convicted of domestic violence. Or a drug charge. I have, um, I know the auto my record, um, that's like about two years old. Um, a theft that he does that's like about a year old and that's it. That's it. So that should be all you get. Because you can get more charges when you're in possession of the gun if you're like a convicted felon or whatever. And it's what was their disability and all that, but you don't have anything that, nothing that you're telling me that makes you under disability. So it'll just be the receipt of some property. station, they charged the girl with having stolen property, specifically the gun found in the trash. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. To stay updated on our future videos, click on the notification bell icon after subscribing. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.